Hey guys, welcome to our second video on making some signs. On the last video, we made those two by two frames. We put them on the back of our panel board, two foot by two foot. We've got two signs to make. So now we wanna show you uh, what they're gonna look like. Here's the logos right here. And these things are pretty, pretty sweet, man. I think they're gonna turn out really good. The logos are really cool. Yeah. We got some good ideas with what to do with them. So these are for our friend down in Texas, Ken Siegel, who owns a dive shop. And these are both going to be for his dive shop down there. And uh, Ryan's going to carve one of these. I think, Ryan, you're going to carve that one. Yeah. And I'm going to carve that one. And uh, we've got, I think it's going to look pretty cool when we get them all done. Sorry, I don't mean to be hiding behind the sign there. Um, so the next step is the, are the layout's all done. We did these with the inkjet transfer. They came out pretty good. This one is was a little bit tougher. This one, the artwork wasn't near as clear as this one. Yeah. But uh, we, so we had to draw in quite a bit of stuff with the sharpie. But anyway, we're going to take them out onto the patio and get to carving. So stick around. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So we are getting ready to carve so we're both going to be starting with the profile bit uh, dad's got his trusty dewalt i'm on the makita or milwaukee let me get those mixed up uh we're going to start with the profile bit um and i think most of dad's is going to be with it and i think most of mine there's a lot of fine detail um and we're going to start at the same time and uh we're going to see whose looks better <laughs> <laughs> um, and remember guys, our profile bit, our bases, everything you can get right here on the website, plus a ton more sign carving supplies. Lots of stuff. Yeah. So I'm gonna right, let's get after I'm gonna it. go to my corner and prepare. <laughs> prepare. Alright, you yeah. ready? Put your mouthpiece in. Alright, let's stand up. All right.
All right, folks, so let me explain a little bit about what I'm doing. First thing I did here was I carved these tiny letters. That was the part that made me the most nervous, especially because I didn't have really good layout because all of this was really pixelated. Second thing that Ryan and I discovered when we were really looking at this logo is you can't look at it up close. It You kind of have to look at it from a distance, so to speak. So you can see that there's so many different lines that are pixelated and so what you're trying to get is just an overall look of what you're trying to accomplish so when you're looking at it blown up big like this it it everything becomes like well what is that what is that but uh so what i've done is just decided that i just blacken the lines that are there so i know what lines i'm going to carve and from that point, not even try and figure out whether it looks right until after I've got it all done and then be able to back away from it and look at it. So um, you can see I've got pretty definitive, definitive lines, except for out here where it's kind of muddled. But I really don't need definitive lines there. I need them more here. So uh, that's kind of what I'm doing. And I'm just going to keep on moving with what I'm doing. And uh, now... Ryan's going to explain what he's got going on over there. Mm. Hold on, let me get over here. Yep. All right, I'm down on your board. Okay. All right, guys, so what we did is we did the outline of the flag. Now, on the, the logo itself, the red bleeds right into the white on the flag here. But we're not going to hand paint those two separate things. So what we're going to do is I put I carved a line here, a lot thinner line on either side of this white and that that will be black down there. And then uh, this is going to be white and this will be red. So I made my lines a little fatter on the outside because everything inside these pencil marks, I don't know if you can see the pencil marks. Not really. Well, we drew a pencil mark. This is all going to be cut away. The whole thing. So um, everything outside here is going to be gone. Uh, it's all going to be background. And then this is going to be outset. And this will be outset too, single line. And these are going to be painted. So what I'm going to do next is do the skull. And that's going to be a mixture between the profile and then the carving liner down in these real thin lines here. Uh, trying to get that the, the mouth of the skull really to pop. And then I'm going to move on to the uh, wording. So, here we go.
All right, guys. I say that every time I'm on camera. All right, guys. I All right, it. ladies. All right, la humans. All right, humans. <laughs> Fellow <good>. individuals. <laughs> A couple things. So. I got all my outline done, all the profile work done. Uh, now, I noticed something. Dad and I uh, switched bases uh, a couple days ago on the Milwaukee here. And as I was carving, I wasn't paying enough attention. But when I got down here, it got real hard to, uh, to uh, hold a good line. So I lifted it up. And Dad, if you can pan down here real quick. Yeah. There's a perfect... S and C right here. Yeah, I'm not that? sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see it now. Okay. Yeah. So that's a scratch on the board. And I got a couple other ones. Luckily, all this is coming out. But even if, if it wasn't, like uh, the skull, I got some scratches. That'll sand out. It's not that big a deal. But what happened is when we took these screws out to replace the base plate, I created a little burr on the screw. And it started scratching. So what I did is I just took that screw out and I knew it was the upper left screw because my scratches are on the upper left of my lettering. I took the screw out and I just got some sandpaper, rough sandpaper, and I sanded it down, put it back in, no problem. Scratches are gone. It's just a little burr that created those. So what I'm gonna do now is I got my 90 degree in and this is all coming out. Everything that's wood colored except for on the flag. We're gonna have three colors here. This is gonna be red, the black outline, and then the white, just like the logo. So I'm gonna take the black out on the, the skull here, and then everything else outside the flag and the lettering that's wood colored is coming out. Inside of that squirrely line. Inside of the line here, yeah. Yeah. So this will be something kind of different we haven't done. I think it's gonna look really, really I think cool. that's gonna look really sweet. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's get going. guys well you know what all the carving is done we've got to uh, we've got to put the edges on here uh, Ryan's going to do a, a certain kind of edge I'm going to do an edge and then we're going to spray them uh, but we have really run out of time so we're going to be doing all of that be just wrapping these things up with the finishing the painting everything on the next video if all goes well so um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, we're having fun with it I think uh, I think this is the better one so far. Oh, yeah. uh, we'll Definitely. see. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, email me, eric at makerwoodsign.com or uh, ryan with davesigns at gmail.com. 
And remember guys that all of our supplies, all the bits, the bases we use and everything, they're on our website right up here. So um, if you got any questions, shoot us an email. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.